The concept of a Notion template is widely used across the tech community. But in Notion, there are two different kinds of templates. And understanding the difference between these two types of templates can help you unlock the power of the tool and become more aware of how you can use it to your advantage. In this video, we are exploring exactly what are templates in Notion with a comprehensive overview of public templates that are duplicable by other people and database templates that instead are mostly used internally as part of databases. At the very core of the word template is the concept of a replicable structure. A template is a replicable structure and that's what it is in Notion. More in particular, there are two kinds of templates. One is a public template that people can duplicate by clicking on the dedicated duplicate button on a public link to a template. So let's dive into this first type of template in Notion. For example, here I have the world without email and that's a public template that I made available. To create a template, you can create a Notion page or database and then go to the share menu, publish that page to the web and make sure to toggle on allow duplicate as template. This will display a duplicate button at the top right corner of this page whenever people land on that URL. So if I copy the web link and I will open this link right here, you will see that at the top right corner there is a duplicate button. And when I, as a user, click that button, I will be prompted to decide in which workspace I want to duplicate this template and then an exact copy of the template will be made in my own private or team workspace. And that's how I can start using this template. The second type of templates in Notion are database templates. For example, here, if I open the buckets database, I can see that on the new button on the drop down menu, there is a template called a new bucket. And in this case, a template is a structured way to populate the page with default content or properties. For example, I can see here I'm editing a template in buckets from this gray stripe at the very top of the page. And when I scroll down, I can see that here I have a page and whatever I add to this page will be applied to new pages in the buckets database whenever I apply this template. And when you have a template in a database, you can also include linked views of relational databases filtered dynamically to only display the content related to that page in the database specifically. For example, here you can see that this buckets database has a relation property to the master task board. As a consequence, I can display a view of the master task board using slash linked view of database. That's a command in Notion. And I can add multiple views of that data as I need. And then I can add a filter that says only show those tasks where the bucket, that's a property in the master task board, contains a new bucket. That is the name of this template. And this new bucket is a dynamic filter. Whenever I apply this template to a new page, that page will update this filter automatically. For example, you will see that when I open constitution, that's a bucket in the buckets database, I can see here there is the master task board view, exactly like I showed you in the template. And when I open the filter, the bucket filter contains constitution health. And this was automatically applied for me when this page was created. In addition, when you have database templates, you can apply them by default to a database so that whenever you create a new page, that page in the database contains the template automatically. And as you can see, the filter is dynamically updated here. If I change the name and check the filter and that name is updated properly. To apply a template by default, 
you can click on the drop down menu here and the three dots and then set as default and when you do that you can decide whether to set this template as default in the entire buckets database or on a specific view of that database and this can be particularly useful if you have for example different views for different types of projects and you want to only apply a template on a specific view that is filtered to show a specific type of project so that every time you create a new project in that view the correct template is applied and you do not have to pick it manually in that view and finally when it comes to database templates let's look at another use case that is you can also pre-populate properties in the database for example here is a meeting notes database where you can take notes about meetings and here there is a template new meeting notes and when i open this template there is a date property and a date property can be pre-populated dynamically with today's date or now that is the time duplicated and for now this is as dynamic as we can get we can't really do calculations on dates without using formulas that are then not changeable manually so there is a trade off there but when you have date property you can apply a dynamic date that is today or now now includes the time whereas today is only the date and the same goes for the user property for example that you can populate with the person who created that page and here i'm talking about the person property here and that is really everything that you need to know about templates in notion public templates made available to the public for duplication and private use and database templates predefined structures that are populated with default content that you want to have on the page and with default property values that you want to have dynamically populated whenever a new page in the database is created if you have any questions you can drop them down below thanks for watching for now and see you in the next one